Before we get into the video, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. So first of all, for all the men that have kids but aren't with the kids' mothers but are still fathers, then I applaud you because the simple truth is, not all men should be dads. So 43-year-old Clifton Parent nearly killed his entire family, his partner and his children and their school friend. What he did was blow up the family home in Withenshaw, Manchester after he became paranoid his partner would leave him. Now because there was an 11 year age gap between the two lovers, the courts were told that Clifton would often be feeling depressed and insecure. Now in order to battle the constant bickering and forceful reinsurance, Clifton often self-medicated with cocaine and strong beers. Now in the night in question, again Clifton Parent was feeling insecure over the age difference and he demanded that his partner reassure him. His partner of 10 years was eventually drained and so exhausted and she actually had enough. She put their son to bed in his bedroom and then told Clifton to leave the house after he constantly followed her around with his tails tucked between his legs, feigning sorrow after he was the one who caused the initial argument. Now bear in mind the partner told Clifton to leave the family home. So when she went to sleep, what he did was the depressive Clifton self-medicated with cocaine once again before he hatched a magnificent plan, and that plan was to blow up the family home. Now reports state that Clifton dabbled with cocaine usage and then picked up a canister before mixing flammable liquids, which was stored in the house because the children and the family enjoyed camping. Now this idiot then put a canister that was filled with flammable liquids on the stove and then turned it on. Like I said at the start of the video, if you're a dad and you take care of your kids and make sure they are kept safe and fed and watered despite the fact that you're not with your partner then I applaud you. Because you have complete and utter idiots like Clifton Parron setting his house on fire just because his partner of 10 years finally had enough of answering the same question over and over again. Now what he needed to do was admit that he needed help and seek counselling or spend more time with his family so he could feel that family unit love, not blow the house up in defiance. It's just like these misogynistic people stating, if I can't have you, then no one will. Now as the partner and the son and the daughter and the school friend were asleep upstairs, the canister that was no bigger than a coke can exploded. The sheer explosion went off with a boom sound, and the impact blew out the windows left the ceiling barely hanging on their mounts and the doors exploded off their hinges. It was only by an act of God that no one was killed. So when the fire services came to the house, they found the founder canister still stuck to the ceiling. So when police arrived on the scene, Clifton maintained his innocence by stating he was actually asleep on the sofa and he had no idea how the explosion happened, even though witnesses were heard saying that the partner was screaming, he blew up the house, he blew up the effing house. And when the case was taken to court, Clifton's defence painted him as a doting family man who had a career as a joiner but fell into depression during the pandemic. They then actually tried to minimise the seriousness of his actions by stating that he had no idea the damage such a small canister would do. Now Clifton admitted causing an explosion likely to endanger life or cause serious injury to property. For his crime he was sentenced to three and a half years. Now I get that people have depression and the pandemic has meant that a lot of people have suffered in a lot of different ways. But from the moral perspective and being a decent human being, being depressed does not give you a ticket to essentially make a bomb and blow up your hole. To be frank, it wasn't like you was only causing material damage, you was actually blowing up your home while your partner and children and their school friend were sound asleep and you knew this. To be honest, that just goes to show you at that specific moment this guy did not give a damn if his family lived or died. All I can say is stay safe, safe. 